I'm out here finishing my book, almost done with it. Once again, I recommend this book. Great book. Check it out at the library or even buy it if you have to. Good book. But there's a passage in here about duality. Now, duality is just accepting the light and the dark, the good and the bad, blase, blase. It's accepting everything as one experience. But I'm going to read you a passage real quick that really just made my mind go, Okay, So this is the passage. What would happen if we removed value judgments from our thinking? What would happen if in place of good and bad, positive and negative, high and low, we use words like resting, listening, waiting, starting, returning, savoring, celebrating, dancing, learning, growing? How would our understanding of spiritual life be altered if we use these words to describe our growth? So like I said, I'm all about duality, all about the yin yang light and dark, but this has really made me go even deeper into duality to remove the negative side altogether. Right now, yes, all experiences are meant to grow us. And that's how we should look at it. That maybe instead of, oh, I made this bad decision or a mistake, I was growing. I was resting. I was learning. I was evolving. Right. I was just in a moment of listening to spirit. And maybe I was meant to do that experience, a.k.a. a bad experience, a mistake, a downfall to actually be an experience to lift me up. So it just got me thinking like even deeper into removing the negative side of life where it's like we put the negative on our experiences nothing was meant for you to actually go through to be bad it was all meant to bring the best out of you now i know people have moments where they be like oh this part of life sucked but what if saying you know it's a bad moment or a down moment or whatever you're just in a moment of resting you're in a moment of listening you're in a moment of evolving growing dancing right it flips everything to make every experience that just what it is, an experience. No good, no bad, no light, no dark. All just an experience God wanted us to go through to bring the, to bring the best out of us, one, but to also to get closer to God. Because every good experience, right, you thank God for the good. And every bad experience, you're praying to get out of the bad. But it's like, what if we stop looking at that stuff like that way and just saying, it's all experiences just to grow us. So I'm really going to start really getting rid of the negative and be like, oh, I'm having a bad day or bad moment or this and that. Or No, they're all just experiences just to grow us. And the words that you put on those experiences will shape the experience itself. Now, in my book, I talk about that, the power of words. But, man, that really got me thinking a lot deeper and a lot clearer with a lot more clarity that life is all just a you know group of experiences. The negative condensation you put on it is what you'll get out of it. But if you look at everything as a positive way just to bring the best out of you and get closer to God, that's how you'll look at that experience as well. So I challenge y'all, go deeper into duality. No more good, no more bad. All experience is just meant to grow us. We're resting, we're learning, we're listening, we're evolving. We're tapping into the best version of us by tapping in to God in that experience, whether good or bad. It depend on what you put on. All right, so last thing from this book, y'all y'all go read it. Um, it's about resting. And I've been hearing that theme over and over from Instagram to Facebook to, to TikTok. People saying rest. And I'm like, I just really don't know how to do that, to be honest. But this one kind of put things in perspective. Um, it says sin does not always drive us to drink. More often, it drives us to exhaustion. Tiredness is equally as debilitating as drunkenness. Mm. Burnout is slang for inner tiredness and fatigue on our souls. Jesus came to forgive us of all our sins, including the sin of busyness. Never saw being busy and not resting as a sin, but I get it. It's in those moments that you're doing so much, you're not allowing God to do what God is wants to do, and you're not showing no kind of trust, no kind of faith, because you feel like you have to do everything. So I'm challenging myself to rest more so I can have, you know, show faith in God that I trust you. So I'm gonna challenge some of y'all too. Let's stop sinning and put more trust in God by resting more. Because I know in this grind, 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 grind society, right? We feel we don't do it. No, you know, the job ain't gonna get done, but it's like, that's not the case at all. God is gonna do the job. If it's if it's you've if you've done everything you can do, you've done the possible, you have to pull back some time and rest your mind, your body, and your soul.
to allow God to do the impossible. We can only do so much as humans and that's where trust and faith and a higher power comes in and say, hey, I've done all I can do. I've done all I can do. So, so rest is important and being busy all the time is actually being sinful. So I don't know who that is for, but it's for me, of course, but I'm all, you know, always gonna challenge other people for things that I touch my spirit. It's time for some of, some of us to rest in this next season. I ain't saying to not do stuff, but I'm saying once you hit that point of exhaustion and you know your soul is tired, pull back and allow God to be God and know that you've done all you can do. So it's time to let the creator do the rest. And that's where trust and faith comes in. And I get it, this, you know, mustard seed type faith. Well, you've done all you can do and you're in, in, in resting is showing the biggest step of faith that you could have and say, hey, I've done all I can do. You take it from here, big fella, because I've done all I can do. So we have to learn to rest. Just sometimes sit and do nothing. Be one with God.